Hi everyone, it's Becca. I'm back with another video today. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of current favorites. It's going to be mostly for May and June. So May I was in France and never got around to filming a video with coming back and everything being crazy. And then I'm still late to film my June one, so I thought I'd just combine it and show you kind of what I've been loving for the past two months. So I'm holding all my favorites in my first favorite, which is my Longchamp bag. got this in France, so it was much cheaper than you would pay here in the States, um, because they are made in France, which I would never pay the price it is in the States. I, it still is, you know, you're paying for the brand name, but um, I really do like it. I love this color. I'm glad my friend convinced me to get this color. It's really unique. I don't see a lot of people this color normally. It's like the dark purple or, you know, kind of the darker colors, which this the lighter color um, does pick up dirt, and when I was in France and using it, it did pick up dirt. Um, but it's super easy to just wipe it down with, like, you know, a sponge and some soap and water. Um, so that's nice that it's easy to clean up. And um, I'm sure I can get some protective stuff to put on it, but it's really nice for travel. Like, it folds up and everything. Yeah, super nice for travel. So, yeah, I really do like this. It's my first favorite. My next favorite, I used this both in May and June, um, so I bought it when I was abroad, and let me just say what it is, it's the Beauty Blender Solid. So I bought this when I was in um, France because I needed a way to clean my brushes, and I thought this would be super easy, and I don't, I'd don't, i always wanted to check it out. Um, and it actually is really cool, it comes with this little, I'm like using a new way to film today. Um, so I just want to make sure everything's in focus. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really see, but anyway, it comes with this little, like, butterfly thing, um, if you want to use this to clean your brushes, it kind of, you know, exfoliates, not exfoliates it, but, like, gets all the dirt and stuff out and all the makeup, and then this is how much I've used. I don't know if you can tell, but there is quite, like, a dip in there. Um, but anyway, I was loving this in France because it's all I had. Um, and it does, it's the best thing, in my opinion, to clean a beauty blender sponge, um, which is great. Even, I think people say it's better than the liquid. And it's just super easy to do, too. Um, and then, actually, the last, this last time, sorry, I have, like, hair on my face. The last time I washed my, um, brushes here at home, which was, like, last week, um, I just decided to use this, like, rather than getting out, you know, a liquid soap, which is what I normally use, pouring it into something. You know, this was just easier to me. And, um, I did use it with this butterfly little way to, um, get out all the dirt, but I also used it too with my Sigma Spa Glove that I have. And both worked great. Um, the Sigma Spa Glove gives me a little more versatility and options and how to clean it um but anyway I just love this it really it worked for my brushes it got out all the dirt it didn't you know none of my brushes stained and I hadn't washed a lot of them in a while so um, I was just super impressed how fast it was even though a lot of my bigger um, stuff my bigger brushes um I find those takes a while to get the soap out and uh, the soap can just get stuck in there. So I don't know. I just really, really liked it. This lathers up nicely. And then it works great for the Beauty Blender swatches. I, I really, really love this stuff. Okay, also what I was loving when I was over in France. I obviously didn't have as much nail polish as I have here. And for a lot of the month, I was wearing the Catrice um, Ultimate Nail Lacquer in 62 Must Have a Steel Edo. Like stiletto, but with steel in it. And it's this super pretty color. And I, I don't exactly remember why I wanted this in my favorites. I think, which is terrible to say, because um, I haven't worn it uh, since um, May. But it's a super pretty color. It's really unique. It's kind of like a silver with purple in it and super sparkly and metallic. And it's just a, it was a really nice formula, I think I remember. It was like a one coat kind of thing um, to, you can use to just, you know, for good measure. And then it lasted for a really long time, which I was surprised about, because metallic sometimes can chunk off, like, painted my nails today, today, and they're already kind of, um, coming apart, so, yeah, I like that. The other thing that I loved, and now I never want to go without, are these, um, B vitamins. So the one I have is Nutrition Now B Complex Gummy Vitamins. Um, it comes with like 70 gummies. I like that it's a gummy and why I really get this is it has biotin in it. It only has 75 mcg, um, which I know a lot of people get like 1,000 or 1,500, but um, I heard that with biotin you need to be taking B with it to absorb it. 
um, which is how a lot of vitamins work. And personally, and so this has um, this has a lot of different stuff. Actually, I'm just seeing that this does have vitamin C, but I was taking a straight vitamin C for a while, and that was too much for me. This only has 15 um, mg um, of of um, vitamin C. But anyway, just personally, me with my body, since I have um, acid reflux. Um, Vitamin C, I, I don't need vitamin C, and I, my body just doesn't like it. So kind of a more multivitamin doesn't really work for me because I think it has more vitamin C in it. So anyway, I just love these. It's basically mostly just vitamin B. Um, yeah, that's basically what it is. And then it does have that biotin, which is, I guess, the second highest um, in there. And yeah, I just really like them. They help my nails grow so much stronger and longer and I definitely did notice that for the couple months that I was in France and I wasn't using this my nails were awful so short so flake like flaky not flaky what's the word like um thin and would just break really easily and they're still not the strongest ever and I find when I'm wearing nail polish it's better um but then the last month in May I was using these and instantly not instantly but within a couple days I could see the difference I don't really see much from my hair but um, I mean, that's okay in, in my opinion. I think if I was taking more biotin, I would, but I'm fine with my hair, you know. But I, I really love what it does for my nails. Okay, for lip products now, what I was loving when I was over in France, and um, again, didn't have much makeup there, was my NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And it's a nice nude color, but it's not like a white out your lips nude. It does have like a little color to it. Let me swatch it on my hand. I mean, here it looks pink. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know, I'd say it's more like a neutral, I don't know, like a neutral, pinky, nude, whatever. It's a terrible description, but I just love this formula. It smells really good. Um, the vanilla kind of scent. Um, yeah, I love, love, love this formula. I love this color. I really don't feel like I have anything like it, and I was just wearing it so much when I was over there. Um, and then I was still into this new trend, and what I'm wearing today is this ColourPop, um, old, uh, no, lippy stick, excuse me. So the ColourPop lippy stick in Choker, which is a cream formula. These smell pretty good too. And then this is more like, I mean, I guess this still has pink, so I guess I like a more pink nude. Um, but it is more nude than the gloss. And like I said, it is what I'm wearing today. And I just really like this. Um, yeah, super nice formula. It does, I do need to exfoliate my lips before I wear this, but I really, really like it. And I've been, I don't know, I just saw it sitting among my stuff, and I was like, oh, I'll wear this today, and then I've been wearing it for, a, um, been wearing a lot lately, actually, just after that one time, um, so, yeah. Okay, the next thing I've been loving, which was both in May and June, I believe I bought this in May, was the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Foundation, and my shade is Soft Beige 14, and I got this in France, and I don't know why, but it used to be, when first when it came out, ooh, sorry, the lighting's changing, the sun's going in. Um, but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, this um, at first was available in the States when it first came out, and then it wasn't, so I really, really, really hope um, Sephora brings it back to the States, because I am absolutely in love with this stuff. I've been wearing it a lot. It really doesn't grab on to dry patches. I, I did a review on this, I believe. Um... And then there's the cushion. I sh just showed you the little sponge, and it does have a mirror. Um, so yeah, this would be great on the go. Um, I personally use it with the Damp Beauty Blender. But yeah, it, like all my other foundations, my skin, I've mentioned a couple of other videos, has been really flaky lately and just like uh, super annoying. And I found this stuff was amazing for it. Um, even better than my It Cosmetic CC Cream. You know, I love that stuff, but it was holding on to my dry patches. And even my new Too Faced Born This Way foundation that I love, um, and that's another favorite. I don't have it with me, but that is another favorite that I've been loving for June. Um, but this I've been loving for May and June, especially when my skin was flaky. This is one of my, the only foundation I tried um, that looked good. And, you know, I was doing a bunch of, like, sprays to kind of get down the, the, the cakey look. I was using my damp beauty blender, going over it with my damp beauty blender. Literally nothing was looking good, even with tons of exfoliation and moisturization. Moisturization? What? Even with tons of moisturizing and exfoliating, nothing was looking good on my skin but this. So, love, love, love this. I really hope it comes back to the States. Okay, the other thing I've been loving both in May and June, and even I think a little before that, um, yeah, before that too, but I got my correct color, 
in May is this Benefit Give Me Brow. They've since redone the packaging. Um, I did a uh, video um, showing you a potential dupe for this, um, but this is my favorite. I I'll link that video down below. But I absolutely love this stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, they have redone the packaging. I believe it's still the same price though, so that's good. Um, but I really love this stuff. I'm wearing it today. It's actually like super full full coverage. Is that the right word? Like, I don't think that's the right word. But um, it has really good like pigmentation. And I think my eyebrows look great, but they still look natural, which is what I personally love. I don't like the super like Instagram brow or like the pomades and stuff. I mean, I've never tried that, but it's just a little too harsh and unnatural for me. Um, and I love, love, love this stuff. It's super quick and easy. Honestly, you know, I don't set this with another um, like gel. Honestly, sometimes I don't even have to run through with a spoolie because this it does have a spoolie. Um, it's just super, super nice. And I use like the point of the little brush that I just showed you to kind of add more product. And then I go in with the side to like blend it in. And yeah, it's super nice. It stays put, but it's not like crunchy. Um, but it, it does really well um, controlling my unruly brows. I just, and personally for someone who doesn't have a lot of brow to start with, I love this stuff. The, the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I just love this stuff. It has uh, fibers, I believe, in it. I don't, I don't know. I personally just love it. My shade is the light medium shade. I They might have added more shades now, so I don't know in the new shades what I'd be. Um, don't take my word for that, but anyway, I highly, highly recommend this stuff. Okay, the next thing also I've been loving, kind of my whole time I was in France, I think I mentioned in another favorites video, and I've been loving it since I got home, and it was... Um, and I, I'm actually wearing today, which was just a coincidence, um, but I absolutely love this stuff and I want to check, check out other ones. It was on Holt Look recently, and I, I should have picked them up, um, because they're on sale, but, you know, I just don't have a lot of money and I don't want to be spending a lot of money, you know, I was trying to restrain myself, which I'm proud of, but next time this goes on Holt Look, I'm definitely picking them up, them up. I believe mine's a small size, I got it in an Ipsy bag. I freaking love this blush, though. It's the Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues, and it's literally so gorgeous. It has a cute little mirror in here, too. This is just so, so, so gorgeous. Um, it's shimmery, or, I mean, not shimmery, but it's like a, it's definitely a glowy blush, and it's a peach, which um, is one of my favorite colors, personally, to wear, I just with my skin tone, I love it. But yeah, it's just super gorgeous. It looks like way more strong on camera than in real life which is funny but I absolutely just love this stuff I love like the sheen it gives especially for s spring summertime. I think that's really nice um, for a while there I'd been into matte blushes but I'm loving this kind of um, more glowy blush and I don't know it's just so nice it it's decent lasting power throughout the day um, it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous so definitely be looking out for more of these because I wouldn't have never tried this, which is why I love subscription services like Ipsy, but I've absolutely fallen in love. It's probably the blush I've worn the most um, in the past couple months. Definitely when I was in France, it was what I mainly wore, and then even since I've been back, I've worn this a lot. And I have a lot of blush, so that's pretty big to say. Okay, the last two things are palettes. So, kind of rediscovered one that I've been loving is my Kat Von D Shade in Light. Um, it's the Shade in Light Contour Palette. And particularly, I've been loving um, these two shades. I've been using this shade in Levitation, I guess, which is the lightest shade. It's not much of a highlight for me, but I use it just right under my eyes. Um, and it gives a little more coverage, which is nice because I tend to have dark circles. Um, and I like to really cover them up. So that helps just give that little bit of you know pigmentation there. Um, and then I've been really loving the this shade as a contour, and that's called Subconscious, and it's the most, like, gray tone. Um, so I wish they had just those two shades, because honestly I don't use the other ones. There's that. Um, but I love this. It's very, it's the most gray toned contour or bronzing powder that I have. So it's really, I'm wearing it today, it's really great. And I'm wearing the, um, the highlighter shade as well. But yeah, it's really great tone for me to contour with. Um, I really, really like it. And it is matte, and I don't know, it's just perfect for my skin tone. Okay, my last favorite is one of my newer products. And um, hopefully by now I've uploaded, I don't know which one's coming first, but 
I have my June kind of huge um, haul coming up, which is where you probably would have seen this, or um, this video might be coming out first. They're both going to be late and they're going to be in mid-July, but uh, what can you do? But anyway, I've been loving, loving, loving this. I'm actually not wearing it today, um, but I ha every other day basically I've been wearing it. Um, and it's the Anastasia Glow Kit, or Anastasia Anastasia, I'm not sure. Um, but it's the color, or the palette in Sun Dipped. And I did just purchase another one from Ulta, which I'm super excited about, because I just fell in love with this one. Um, it's, if, I think I'm going to be doing a review on both of them when I get the other one. And I just absolutely love this. Um, that bronze shade right here is a little too dark for me. Tourmaline I've been using like as a blush topper, just a blush. And then Moonstone and Summer I've been using on their own or mixing them together. Um, I'll just give you a little swatch of all of them. It's just, the pigmentation on here is great. It is not, it's not a subtle look. Um, you know, they are definitely more, um, you know, it's going to be more like strong highlight look. But I absolutely just love these. They, like everyone says, they really do all blend into the skin. Um, there are these shades right here. Yeah, sorry. So these are the shades right here. Like everyone says, they blend in super nicely to skin. They just melt into the skin with still giving a really strong highlight. Um, they're just absolutely amazing. They last a really long time, longer than the Becca ones. And this comes with a shit ton of product, um, if you don't mind me saying. It comes with, yeah, they're 0.26 ounces each or 7.4 grams, which is bigger than my Becca highlight that itself retails for $38. And this retails for all four of those shades, all four of these shades for $40. So it's an incredible deal. Like, I don't know if you saw, but you can pop them out um, in case you just want to bring one, like in a palette if you're traveling or if you're a makeup artist or whatever. But just even for the average person, I love this. I am sad that the bronze shade I can't use. I just personally don't like a super shimmery bronzer. And just that color itself is a lot darker. But I could use it um, on my eyes. That would be gorgeous. I would never go through that. But yeah, I've absolutely been loving this. I don't know where I was. I mean, I guess these came out when I was in France, but even then I didn't really hear a ton of people talk about them. I don't know what I was doing. Um, if I was living under a rock or what. I mean, it kind of was because I didn't have great Wi-Fi there, but um, yeah, I'm just so glad that I that I picked this up. I really want to try this lip gloss set that she came out with for summer. That looks amazing, um, but who knows. I wish that was at Sephora and then I'd pick it up. Um, and she just came out with a new one of these, but they look a little, and I was thinking about getting it, but they look a little more unnatural. But yeah, I picked up, I just picked up the Gleam one. Um, I don't know, I absolutely freaking love this. Probably my standout, well, I don't know, I love all these products, obviously, but this is just absolutely amazing, and it's why I picked up another one so quickly. Um, so anyway, that is my current favorites. Um, I didn't add any, like, fails in here because... You know, I just want to talk about my favorites, and I've now since forgotten things that I tried and didn't like. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well, um, and until next time, bye everyone.